And normally we have our friends from the Concord Food Co-op in on Fridays, but because we're doing best of this particular Friday, um, we're live on a Wednesday morning. Greg, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, this could become one of the best of, so maybe oh, you'll, you'll be I, able I, to play it again. I, I, I absolutely will. And we will actually, <laughs> you will be here, we will hear you on on, on this Friday yes. in your normal time. Perfect. Uh, it's just a show that we had pre-recorded, but we are live here this morning, and a bevy of guests. Well, well the first show today. we ever did, these were the guests, and so we... Uh, Seriously? This is, this is now, I think, uh, two years later, so... Uh, Happy we're anniversary! Having, we're, having a, <laughs> we're having a reunion, yes. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Awesome. That's awesome. Well, it, it, everybody introduce yourselves, please. Hey, okay. Well, I'm Julianne. Hi, Julianne. Everyone, some people may have heard me before. Julianne Hartley. I've been on quite often. Yes, you have. I'm and a, and it's, it's wonderful to see you again. Because I haven't yes. you haven't been yeah, in, it's been in a while. ages. Yeah. yeah, so I'm a music therapist in our community as well as a nutritional therapist. I'm really excited to be here today. And I have some exciting news to share with you, Pat. Oh, please do. Please do. Since I've seen you, right. my, I don't know if you remember, I released a children's and music it, it, album. It, it, the last time I saw you, I think it had just come out. Yes, and it just, um, in April and May, it was the number one selling independently published children's album in the country. Get out of here! Yeah, that is from Little Kong awesome. in New Hampshire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so therapeutic songs for kids, everyone. Go look it up. Oh, I'm <laughs> so excited. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. That is, and so it's, go, it's go, obviously, it's going beyond the bounds of the Granite State. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, it's so cool. Point, I'm bopping my mic around. Mm-hmm. I, I can't, I, I'm sitting next to a star. This is great. <laughs> I'm very excited. And you are? I'm Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I'm Julian's sister. Uh, yes, I, I saw the resemblance. <laughs> we look like I, twins, but we're not. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome. Yes. Welcome. I'm Donna. Well, hold on. Sarah, tell Sarah, me Sarah, about Sarah came, uh, the show is scheduled now because Sarah's up visiting from Costa Rica. So a little bit about what you do in Costa Rica. Yeah. I am uh, the owner of a health food store in Costa Rica. The jungle. My, my little co-op inspired That's food awesome. store in Costa Rica. It's called La Farmacia Organica. Which means the organic pharmacy. The organic right? pharmacy. Yeah. And I've been there the last nine years developing this. That's amazing. And you, you must, obviously, you've found a home in Costa Rica and, and, and the pharmacy is doing very well. Yes. Yes, it is. Except my heart is always here. Whenever I'm back in New Hampshire, Aww. I feel like part of me has always remained here. Well, at least we brought, at least <laughs> we, we arranged for a little Costa Rica type weather for you. <laughs> so yeah, that's this a good is thing. appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> the first two weeks I was here at the end of June, it was too cold. For I can't. Me. It's, it was it, it was weird. It, they don't it's have, been weird weather. They don't have blueberries in Costa Rica. I felt like if they had blueberries oh. in Costa Rica, your heart would be in Costa Rica. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> there, 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 yeah. <laughs> it would be reversed. Reverse. You need to come near the end of the summer. That's when the blueberries are popping in. Mm. Well, welcome, welcome back. Thank you. And, and now, I'm, and I'm Donna. I'm, Hi, Donna. I'm the mom. Hi. Um, th- how proud you must be. Very proud. That's this is <laughs> this is amazing, and good things keep happening to the girls because the girls come. Well, I was going to say they come from good stock, first of all, <laughs> but they're also they're they're good hearted, and 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 really, the intentions behind the things that they do are 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 they're just great values. Yeah, and they're hard workers too. I, workers and they believe in what they do. I, I, you know, I try. I try to Im, Im pass that along to my kids as well. You gotta, you gotta work hard yeah. for what it is that you do. Well, happy anniversary, Greg. This is exciting. Well, and and the topic today is organic. Okay. Um, I think uh, you know the the co-op's produce department is 100 percent organic, and organic is more expensive. And I don't think it's clear why pay the price, why pay the difference. So, um, I thought you know. Now Maya's with us today too, Sarah's uh, daughter. So Hi, this Maya. is this Hi, is Maya. third generation of organic. Uh-huh. Um and so I thought no better, you know, group to talk about why organic. So, you know, um I'd like you to 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 basically say, you know, what percent of your food intake do you is organic? Um and then just kind of have a, you know, a discussion of um of of, of the why? benefits of, of why. why. Yeah. Yeah, so in my household I would say Probably, I mean, in our house, it's got to be 95% organic, right? If anything gets in, 
that's not organic at this point. It's yeah, probably it was been given to us yeah, or right. we went out to a restaurant <laughs> or something. But, you know, the other thing in our household is we eat a lot of wild forage food. So I, it's hard to always say w- what percentage is exactly organic when maybe half of our food might be literally from our backyard. Right. Um, which we don't spray our lawns with anything. And I recommend everyone out there listening, if you have dandelions on your lawn, let them grow, for goodness sakes, because having the pesticides on your lawn Mm -hmm. is bad for everyone in your neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Um, So, yes, I I would say a good amount of my diet, and for me that's really important to my health, that we can talk about why later if you want. Oh, sure. Yeah, Sarah, go ahead. I'm so, so proud of of myself and and my small little business because in Costa Rica, when I arrived eight years ago, it was really, really hard to find organic food. Yeah. Really hard to find. There's organic farmers, but... But were they selling it elsewhere? Was it not just a local thing or Um, it just wasn't as popular? There wasn't um, well-organized transportation between the farms. Sure. So there were small farmers, Mm -hmm. but no one was organizing a transportation. So I started a transportation you know, picking up from several farms, mm-hmm. bringing it to my store and delivering it around That's my awesome. community. Mm-hmm. So I would say we're eating up, we're eating up in the 90s as well, 90, 90% organic. Mm-hmm. And I feel so good about that. You that- know, this to give you an idea of how hard it was to get organic food in Costa Rica. When I went down to visit <laughs> my sister right. years and years and years ago, we had to walk three miles <laughs> to then get on a bus, to be on a bus for two hours, to then get way up into the mountains to get to a semi-big city and then walk from that bus station to the one grocery store that had a very small selection of organic vegetables. Oh. Yeah. That's how difficult it was. And you were starving at that point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at that point, I'm like, give I'm me take all, all of it. it please. Yeah, yeah. Give, me, give, give, give it give all me to me. Bag it up. And, you know, so it was really Sarah's mission to make sure that organic foods are more accessible, not just for the tourists in Costa Rica, but offer also for the people living there, right? right. And at yeah, that point, it was completely in- inaccessible. And now, when you go down to Costa Rica, I mean, you find a lot more organics, and a lot of that is due to the movement that Sarah kind of um, was oh, for sure. Down the there. momentum has caught up. It's well, good, amazing. good for you for seeing the 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 actual deal of you just need transportation. We just need to get it from just point A to point man. B. Yeah, for sure. And you need to get it where it goes. But then, but then, but did you've also got you've got to get across the benefits right. of, of, of 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 having an organic intake. I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's still Sarah's always educating. The locals whenever they come in, right? Because it is more expensive. It, yeah. Well, it is more expensive, but you, but you really, it's it, you really just have to get people to understand why it's more expensive and why it's it's going to be better for you. Yeah. Well, can we get into that? Yeah, yeah. I would. I, I'd yeah, like let's Donna to answer first. What percent okay. of your? Oh, talk. Okay. Talk, um, talk. So I have learned all about this from my girls. They <laughs> are just they immerse themselves in this whole eating community when they were young and right. from so I've learned a lot. So I would say we eat about the same, about ninety percent. Good for you. Yep. And um but I want I learned from them that the organic food that we're eating um is is so much more nutritionally dense. Mm-hmm. And it's a better buy for your money. You're getting more nutrition out of it. But I want to hear these guys talk about <laughs> why organic is so important. Well, be, be, because you, what what comes out is only as good as what goes in, and really, you if if your body is a temple, mm-hmm. then you 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 have to take you you can't treat it like a carnival, right? And you know, I think the biggest thing people <laughs> treat their animals better than they treat themselves. People treat their children. There you go. People treat the loved ones that they're in the care for. Better than they treat themselves, of course. right? But you cannot take care of those people unless you are healthy enough to take care of them. Hello, just like the just like the little speech you get on the airplane. Okay, right. listen, put the game, put yes. the mask. <laughs> yes. If you need the oxygen mask, put it on you first, so you can help others. So, yeah. okay, let's let's just talk about why eating organic is so important, right? And besides the fact that there may be more nutrients in it, right, depending on the soil that it was grown in, let's talk about pesticides and herbicides yeah. for mm-hmm. a moment, mm-hmm. right? Sure. So. Let, let's talk about me, sample size of one. Okay. I have a persistent Lyme disease infection. Okay. I have chronic autoimmunity caused by the persistent Lyme disease infection. Mm-hmm. If I eat foods that are loaded with heavy metals, right. pesticides, herbicides, I get severe arthritis to the point where I can't walk. Wow. My knees cramp up, my legs cramp up. Like mm-hmm. I am in bed. There's nothing I can do. And so for me, it's so vitally important to make sure. And so part of the reason why that that cramps me all up is that 
those pesticides and herbicides mm -hmm. and heavy metals, they're neurotoxins. Mm -hmm. um, they completely s make our brain, our central nervous system kind of go haywire. Sure. And they also totally affect our immune system. They can send your immune system into overdrive, thus the autoimmunity. So one in four people now have autoimmunity. So, I mean, everyone listening to this radio, I'm sure there's a ton of people going like, oh, yeah, that's me. Oh, yeah, I have that. Yeah, right. Well, the food you're eating can either make that worse or make it better. And most of the food that most of us eat will make it worse. Right. Yeah. I mean, those herbicides, those pesticides, they are inflammatory. Mm -hmm. um, even if you're dealing with a heart condition or a digestive condition, if you are adding things into your body that are setting you up to fail versus setting you up to thrive and be successful, mm -hmm. um, you know, you kind of have to take responsibility for that. You, you, well, you, it, it all comes down to number one. Right. You know, because again, you're only as good as what you're putting in. Right. And I definitely notice a huge, massive difference when I am eating, you know, 95% organic or, you know, mm -hmm. as organic as I can versus not eating organic. And I can always tell, right? In the morning, if I, after I go out to eat at a restaurant that's not organic yeah, or something, right. my ankle locks up. And I'm like, oh, I really wow. got to I gotta go back to the basics. The co-op in Concord, that hot bar is one of the only hot bars I can eat at without getting arthritis that's see so so not only the produce but the hot bar yes the uh concord food co-op has a, an organic garden at canterbury shaker village mm -hmm. and uh is, as much as possible they also um use the, the vegetables they uh they uh, grow there on the hot bar in the salad bar uh wow. during the uh during the the, the gardening season right anyway. we, when everything when everything's right. popping and everything's being mm -hmm. harvested right how, how how important to your customers is organic, Greg? Mm -hmm. Our customers, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's 100%, the, the produce department is 100% organic. Mm -hmm. And so it's a, it's a, a well-supported, um, you know, produce department. They, you know, they're going through produce like crazy. So there is, you know, those individuals that understand the, the, the benefits of organic, um, they are definitely supporting the, the produce department. Mm -hmm. And, and again, you know, I only started eating organic, uh, oh, probably three or four years ago. Okay. Because again, I was the same way. It's just like, well, the price difference, I don't understand the difference. Right. And, and I'm starting to really see that, you know, it's it's more of a pay me now or pay me later. Because, you know, if I go to the doctor, the copay and what's not covered, you know, the it's, many it's medications a lot, lot you might have to take. And, right. and so, you know, any visit now, I'm starting to think, well, 10, 15 years from now, what's that going to be costing me? All the, the uh, you know, the, the, the side effects of not eating well mm -hmm. for years. Um, well, yeah, look at yeah, and yeah, look at the things that you can't even put a money value on. Like you, you're more run down. You're, mm -hmm. you're, 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 so you don't have the time that you normally would have to put. You don't have the energy you would normally have. I mean, all of these things that you can't even put a price tag on. No, yeah. My my uh, judgment on my health is always um, my speed of thought. Nice. How quickly can I come up to solutions, mm -hmm. positive, yeah, positive solutions, conclusions, um, and deal with with stress, uh -huh. with quick responses. Yeah. Right, and 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 ably and feeling good about the decisions you're oh, making yeah. instead of being muddy about things or I just can't make up my mind on this. Yeah, so exactly, yeah. feeling really strong. Okay, yeah. All right. what I'm what I'm thinking. Go All ahead, right. Julian. So I know we're probably going to break in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we, 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 we will be taking a break in but, just a sec. But, you know, after that, I'd really like to talk a little bit more about what pesticides and herbicides, how they get stored in our body yeah. and the way that can affect our health. How they, how they don't come out mm -hmm. once yes. they go in. Yes, yes. Now, it's so important to make sure you're eating organic to make sure that that doesn't happen, but also maybe some tips on how to start kind of flushing some of that stuff out once it's in I, there. And I think that's a good that point because, again, you know, we're, we're, we're feeling healthy now, but, you know, what is going on inside our body that we're not aware of? Totally. Right, yeah. right. And, and in some things, you, you may not be you may not be completely aware of that that's going on that one little trigger could kind of totally set you off in another direction one stressful situation could release a lot of things into your bloodstream oh yep. this is great all right it. what i'm so excited everybody's <laughs> here uh celebrating an anniversary with the concord food co-op well let's take a break bob we'll be back with more it's good morning new hampshire 1077 the pulse Hey, 
And welcome back to Good Morning, New Hampshire. Today, it's a special Wednesday edition of our normal Friday edition of the Concord Food Co-op, celebrating an, an- celebrating an anniversary uh, with folks that were here with for the very first show. Uh, and Julianne and Sarah and Donna and Greg are all here. Julianne, let's start. Okay, I would be a complete rookie starter going mm. into organics. How do I fix what's already in my body that I'm not even aware what's in my body? Well, <laughs> so let's talk about what gets in the body for a second. Yeah. So your liver has a certain capacity of being able to do- detoxify out heavy metals, medicines, Which is what the liver does. Things. It's what the liver does. Right, But right. if you overload it. Right. So imagine your liver is like a little cup, right? And they can only handle so much going in at once. And if you aren't getting the right nutrients you need, if mm-hmm. you are overloading it, right? Like you might end up with this giant backup. And what happens with that backup is our body stores it in our adipose tissue, which is our fat. So uh-huh. if you're someone who's like, man, I really have a hard time losing a weight, there might be a reason. You might have a lot of, you know, heavy metals, pesticides, toxins, toxins. in your fat cells that your body's like, no, no, we can't let go of these fat cells or we will to be- maintain homeostasis. Right. Because right. yeah. so, if you release all of those toxins at once in your system, like you could die, right? right. Some people, I, I, I understand we've, we've that. all heard of someone who's done some fast or juice cleanse right, and right, ended right. up in the hospital or something. Right, right. I know someone who overdosed on Valium because they did a fast and they had too much Valium stored in their, their um, fat wow. cells. So it's so wow. important to make sure that we're not overloading our liver. And by eating organic, especially mm. if if you're doing anything like where you're preparing your body to kind of uh, get healthier or, okay. or, or detox or something, you need to be eating organic for quite a while so you're not overloading that system. So it's it, it, a slow approach would be a better thing yes. for somebody just getting yes. started on this. Absolutely, yeah. Bef- before anyone ever thinks about doing a detox, do like yep. a year of, y- yeah, uh, of uh, eating uh, organic, right? Of, of taking the baby steps yeah. to kind of get 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 into it. Just you, you know, trying to reduce your overall exposure. I was just talking to my mom this morning. We have so many things just living in our life, bombard- bombarding our bodies mm-hmm. that we actually don't have control of. If you can't l- just live in your house and be a yeah, hermit, right? If you want to leave your house. Air, everything that goes into your lungs mm-hmm. goes directly into mm-hmm. your bloodstream. On your skin. Everything yeah. on your skin. You got all those oh. perfumes people are spraying. Even if you don't put them on you, people in the rooms around you. Of course. Yeah. What's You're working coming with out people. of carpets, what's coming out of paint, what's coming out of um, anything, anything in your environment. And that just goes straight into your body. Wow. So it's so important to make sure that at least in one area, yeah, right? There's one thing you can control. And, and, and the thing is, you can control that. Yeah, yeah, you can. You can control that. And a lot of people, oh, I can't change now. I'm a creature of habit. I can't do that. Well, you want to be a creature of mm-hmm. habit for some extra years in your life? Right. Mm-hmm. And even if you do feel good right now, you're like, well, I eat pizza every day. And, or like, you know, I, yeah. you know, I drink lots of beers every day. And there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe. But, you know, you should keep in mind that, you know, think about your body as like this cup again. And, uh-huh. you know, it there might be. That, that toxin load might be building up and building up and building up. And you don't feel and you it don't, and there's no, no. symptoms. Yeah, they, until yeah, it right. starts spilling yeah. over. But until once it's, it's spilling over, then you have a, a really big issue. You know, you end up with then something like this chronic autoimmunity or something. Yeah. And so it's so important to make sure you don't get to that point before you start eating organic or mm-hmm. before you start making these attempts to clean up your body. Wow. And and you can really, you can start with, with the Concord Food Co-op. And half of really your mission, Greg, is... To bring better food to the consumer. Correct. And, you know, somebody has said this to me some time ago. It's, it makes it easy sh- making right choices because the co-op has already screened everything. If it's right, on the right, shelf, right, it's clean. Right. And so, you know, you know, I, I, I do, you know, the vast majority of the cu- clients there, customers there are reading every box, every ingredient. That's great. And, and you know, but That's others wonderful. said if you're going in there and you need a quick uh, pasta and pasta sauce, it's organic. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it's basically, um, we have basically gone through it and made sure that it's a clean uh, product. So That's amazing. Mm-hmm. And it's good. Mm-hmm. It's, not, is- it's not like, okay, I have to eat crappy food in order to feel better no this is good yeah it i don't there's no taste difference yeah you know it tastes better quite frankly you know yeah yep yeah um, and again but, for if 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 it's worth and for your health and for your and family for your, kids your kids i mean all of that uh all of that really kind of work and it can go it can go up the generation too can it mom Oh yeah, <laughs> you know, because you've learned a lot. Yeah. I have learned a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And again, yep. so and so you're going to be around for your granddaughter. Yeah, that's yeah. What you know? and healthy and able yeah. to move around. Yes, and able and able, to, able to play, know. not just watching from a chair somewhere. Right, right, right. 
This is, you know, I, I guess people, even though we all look out for number one, Aren't we last on the list usually in real life? For goodness you, sakes, you put yeah. everything else out in front of you. I put work in front of me. I put my family in front of me. Yeah, I'm always last on the list. P- put yourself up a few rungs. Spend fifty cents <laughs> more to get the organic broccoli, yeah. right? Like for yeah. your own health, for you, for you. I know, I know. Well, listen, we we were hearing uh, there's you know there's the drug companies in court now uh, because of yes. you know causing cancer and yes. stuff like and that. Pesticide from, companies, from, right? From from things that we're you know that we are. Uh, you know, we think, oh, this is great. It's destroying all the weeds. Well, it's, it's destroying a little more than eat weeds. Eat the weeds. I yeah. eat them. It makes yeah. up a good part of my diet. You like dandelions, <laughs> don't you? I do. And and, you, and they're great for the pollinators. Yes, See, they are. See, this is, this, is good for, this is good for the whole ecosystem. There are like over 50 edible species just on my lawn. Wow. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Lawn salad is a thing in my house. That's it. But, 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 Topic but, for another show. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's right. <laughs> yeah, we can break into that. In the meantime, though, uh, you know that all the produce at the Concord Food Co-op uh, is organic, um, and 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 the products are. Uh, you, you can read all the labels right there as you go in. You, you, it's top-notch stuff. All yeah. right. I think it's a good representation of what there is real food out there. There's yeah. huge grocery stores filled with food. Yeah. That don't have actually real food in it. Wow. The co-op is a good representation of what's available. We're going to let you think on that <laughs> for a week. Uh, <laughs> listen, ConcordFoodCoop.coop. Uh, stop on by. Ladies, thank you so very much. Thanks for thank having you. us. No problem at all. Thank you, Pat. You can- In the mood for real food, it's Concord Food Co-op.